Hey there, today I wanted to show you how to use our new super features. So super features are handy for three big things and they're listed over here on the right. So the first reason you would use a super feature is to chain together multiple plus this features. So an example of when that might occur is let's say you're running a webinar and you want to use plus this to register them for that webinar and then immediately um, run one of our Facebook audience triggers to add them into a Facebook custom audience for registrants and then also run another plus this feature that sends them a text message and so you kind of want these all to chain together to happen one after the other inside of your campaign. The super feature will let you chain multiple features together into one HTTP post which is really handy. The second reason you might use it is to easily run a scheduled like plus this feature and so I'll show you an example of that in the walkthrough that we'll create today. And this is handy for, let's say you have like a monthly report that you want to have run on uh, customer value or something like that. So every month you know, what was the average number of products a person uh, purchased or uh, the total amount spent or per customer and things like that. We can run reports like that every month automatically through your entire database. And then the last thing is for those bulk updates. So this kind of ties into that other example I was sharing where anytime you want to kind of do this one-off uh, bulk feature update or run, maybe you're running an SMS text to your entire database of 20,000 contacts or something like that. Uh, a big bulk thing like that that's just one-off, this is a great feature for that. And it'll make sure that your feature runs smoothly and gets hit on every single one of your contacts. So. Uh, we'll dive right into how these features get set up. So here's what it looks like once you're inside the super feature. And the way it works is you're basically picking already created plus this features that you want to run one after the other. So in our example, we wanted to, uh, let's say we're doing a monthly report. And every month we're collecting a certain number in a field. Maybe it's like you're a gym and you're collecting how many times uh, a customer came in that month. So we might use like a set field to track that number as a result. And then in this uh, same kind of report, we want to know what our customer value was for these people that were coming in to see what the average spend was, uh, total amount that a customer would spend with us that month and things like that. And all of these features are pre-existing features inside of Plusis. So if you are not familiar with set field or calculate customer value, we have other videos that kind of show you what those do. But I just want to show you an example of how it kind of chains multiple features. And then when we're done with this, we can apply a tag so that we know, hey, that report was done or it's processed the bulk update on all these contacts. And then down here, we can also do some things for a bulk option. So we can run this on a certain tag or we can run on our, our entire database. And then I wanna schedule this so that it runs every month. And this is really cool. Like you can schedule it so it runs on the last day of the month. I know it's kind of weird when some months have different last days. So I like that that's an option. Um, and then we can tell it what time. So maybe it's the last day of the month at midnight and then we can set the time zone and we're good to go. Then let's say we want this report to be generated in one of our Google Sheets. So that every month we can have this report automatically made for us, which is really handy. So I have our monthly update uh, Google Sheets feature that has all that information. And then we just give it a name so we can have our monthly report super feature. Click save. Oh, need to set an actually time here. Let's just do it on the hour. And then here's what you have. So you're able to see the details of this. If you needed to initiate it right away, you could do that. And then you also have a feature URL if you ever needed to kind of trigger the configured features on contacts as it moved through your campaigns. So that's how a super feature works. I hope this is handy and helps you with those three scenarios I mentioned earlier. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.